Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and amazing video today. I cannot wait. Oh my goodness, it's it's so cool. Um we have finally the reveal of a bunch of new Lego Marvel sets, including the Spider-Man No Way Home ones and a new Infinity Saga one and some what if sets. It's amazing. These sets are amazing. The minifigures through the roof. I, I'm, I'm, let's just talk about it. I can't wait. Up first, a brand new what if set. Set number 76201. Captain Carter and the Hydra Stomp with 343 pieces. This set is pretty neat. It's pretty nice. It comes with three unique minifigures and another Hulkbuster build that looks very similar to some other stuff we've seen in the past. However, it is green and styled differently, which is, you know, nice. Peggy Carter's got a very nice shield as well. As well on the box there and you know brand new mold uh or like design for the tesseract I and mean, i know it's a minecraft head but it's not something we've seen before and i think it works really well for this actually should have been a minecraft head all along honestly i mean at least it's blue too it looks really great the minifigures here are pretty good we'll take a look at them in a second the build though i'm a little disappointed in there are so many other things you can do from the what if show and they just chose another mech because the other set you'll see that we already saw is a mech as well. I would have preferred something different, but, I mean, it still looks good. And, you know, it's a good-looking mech. There's some really nice action poses and everything. And, again, Peggy Carter, love that shield piece as well, though it's different from what you'll see in a second. Um, kind of weird, I don't know. But the minifigures here do look great. I love Peggy Carter. I think it's uh, very nice that we're getting what looks to be like a Captain America stealth suit, so um, some custom figures can be great for that. However, we are getting a variant of her in the Disney Plus T uh, CMF series, where she'll have her actual Captain Britain uniform with another shield and everything. So I don't really like that they gave us a set that's not going to have any exclusive characters. I mean, the minifigures are exclusive, like the, the prints and everything, but the characters won't be, and it's kind of disappointing. Captain America looks nice, like little flight suit, although I think he definitely should have had the medium legs. And Red School is great as well. Coattails piece looks great. I love his printing with the little uh, Hydra belt buckle. New facial expression, pretty cool. Still, I'm a little underwhelmed by this set. The next set we already know about, 76194, the Tony Stark, Sakaar, and Hulkbuster. This one was revealed a while ago. I just wanted to go over it because it's the other Disney Plus set that hasn't come out yet. Both are mechs that look almost identical. I mean, I get the other one can't turn into a car and everything. Like, this one can, but still, like, the mechs are almost identical. And I think it's really disappointing that the only Disney Plus sets are mechs, are Hulkbuster mechs. Like, Surely there's other things you can do, guys. I don't know. Many figures here are great, though. Tony Stark, Valkyrie, and the Watcher. Love the Watcher. New Valkyrie is amazing. She'll fit in very well with the next set. And then Tony Stark here is great as well. These sets are both pretty cool. I mean, they all have three great minifigures. But still, I was really hoping for some more from this line. Next, though, my favorite set of all time. 76200 Bro Thor's New Asgard with 265 pieces. Let's go. I love this set. Oh, my goodness. We have Korg and Meek in Lego and Fat Thor, and there's so much here. Like, holy crap. This apartment is decked out. We have the pitchfork that you can use to fend off three vampires clustered in a little corner. We've got the TV, a bunch of video screens, um, video game controllers, so much beer, pizza. There's stuff on the shelf. There's a couch. It's a really nice display diorama set, too. And we have the Welcome to New Asgard. Please drive slowly sign. Oh, my God. That's so cool. I love that. There's just so much packed into this display set, and I cannot wait to buy it. I'm really excited. We got Stormbreaker in the back. There's just so much going on here, and I'm really excited to look at this set, and I cannot wait to get it. I mean, look at them on my couch. They all fit on the couch. I mean, I'm a little disappointed in Meek more on that in a minute, but the fact that they can all fit together in this amazing diorama, everything just fits so well. It looks so much like this scene. This is exactly what I wanted. This set meets every expectation. I'm so excited. And on the screen, you can actually see it is Fortnite, Thor dual wielding, Malonier and Stormbreaker. And it's a little blurry here, but that text actually says Noob M. So that is Noob Master 69. Really cool. And we also have a very nice group photo with Korg, Meek, Valkyrie, and Thor. Love that. The figures here, though, amazing. Meek is a little disappointing. I might try to mock up a body for him, but we get a brand new facial expression. Korg is so cool. I love that the rock crown, the Hawaiian shirt, the headphones, so good. And then Bro Thor just steals it. I love the fat uh, shirt and the fact that the belly kind of goes onto the legs there as well. That print looks great. And really, that minifigure steals the show. Love that. But even better is set number 76184, Spider-Man vs. Mysterio's drone attack with 73 pieces. This 4 plus set gives us the black suit Spider-Man and a brand new Mysterio figure. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of 4 plus sets. The builds are kind of clunky. That drone is a laughing stock. But I'm going to buy this for the black suit Spider-Man. The final battle Spider-Man looks awesome. Perfect. That is exactly what we want. Dual molded legs. Let's go. We'll take a look at him a little closer later. Brand new Mysterio figure as well. Uh, looks cool. Love the printing and everything. Same old, same old Nick Fury. Nothing new there. But that's Spider-Man. 
That is perfect. That is what we needed. That is so good. I hate that it's in the four plus set though, because I'm literally going to hate this set, but I'm loving it for that minifigure. Next, we have set number 76195, Spider-Man's Drone Duel with 198 pieces. And what the heck is this from Spider-Man No Way Home? It says inspired by Marvel Studios, Spider-Man Home, uh, No Way Home, Homecoming. I can't really read that, but still, whoa. This is so cool. First off, Golden Webs, amazing. Vulture Returning, amazing. Black and Gold Spider-Man, brand new suit, amazing. This is so neat. Just like, look at that dynamic attack shot in the back. Like, what is this drone build? Wow, that Spider-Man figure is so detailed. Like, we'll look at him in a second. That drone spider is really weird. I'm not sure what to make of that. But there's a lot of gold in it, which is really cool. And the gold webs are so cool. But that Spider-Man figure, look how much detail there is. Arm printing, leg printing, hip printing, torso, face, like decked out in webs covering the figure. Every aspect of him is covered in printing. That is so cool. There's so much detail in this random Spider-Man suit that I don't recognize. I'm really hoping they'll be in the movie. I mean, fingers crossed for a really cool Spider-Verse and everything, but that vulture also amazing with a brand new facial uh, mask and print and everything. So much better than the Iron Man helmet. Love the new wings as well. And I can't wait to pick this set up because I never got the original Vulture. Really happy to have him here. This set just is amazing. I cannot wait to get it. I'm so happy. Although the best set, blown away by 76185 Spider-Man at the Sanctum Workshop with 355 pieces. Doctor Strange is in Spider-Man No Way Home. This is the only set that doesn't say inspired by. So this one, I believe, is directly from the movie. So there's going to be a scene with Spider-Man, Wong, MJ, and Doctor Strange. And I'm so excited. I cannot wait for Spider-Man No Way Home. I'm so excited for the Spider-Verse. And the fact that we now know that Doctor Strange is in this is amazing. This set looks so cool. This is a day one purchase. No questions asked. There's a brand new mold for the cape, which looks so cool. It can be on its own and clip onto the back. It's like a rubber piece and it can hold a drill. It's chasing Spider-Man there. That's amazing. Look at this. There's a plant monster. The shelves are so detailed. And there's like a little like portal window room there that you can look through too. I have no idea what that is. The minifigures, I have clear pictures in a second. You get some web pieces. You get a really nice couch, some tools. Uh, it's just a really good place. I love play sets. I hate vehicles. I love play sets. This is the best play set. This is so cool. But the minifigures here steal the show. Look at that Doctor Strange figure. Look at that rubber cape there. Oh, that's amazing. That's so good. I love the eye of Agamotto. Wait, hang on. How does he have that if the Infinity Stone was destroyed? We'll come back to that. Brand new facial print, same old hair piece with the nice printing on the sides though. Love, love, love that design for like the cloak and everything. MJ here reuses Ron's torso print, all, all reuse and everything, but it'll be nice for me to get an official MJ figure because I missed out on the Gondolo set. And then we have Wong for the first time ever in a retail set. He only ever came in that Bertober pack, which I was lucky enough to get. He looks like he's almost wearing Spider-Man's jacket here, which is interesting. But it'll be nice people to get him so he can pair with the Shang-Chi sets because I know a lot of people were upset that he was uh, missing because he's going to be in that movie. Looks great there, though. Some really nice printing. And Spider-Man in this very nice gold suit. I'm loving the way that looks, though. That looks fantastic. I'm really hoping we see a lot of that suit in the movie. But yeah, this set just steals the show. I love everything about it. And the fact that it confirms Doctor Strange elevates it so much for me. But yeah, guys, that's everything I got for you today. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Make sure to leave your thoughts about these sets in the comment section down below. There were so many sets revealed today, and they're so cool. I'm going to buy, I think, almost all of these, like every single one, just because the minifigures are the best. The builds are actually really solid, and there's so many unique parts and pieces and everything in them, and I just can't wait. I'm so excited to see the Disney Plus uh, CMF series as well, and I really hope we get more sets based on Disney Plus shows as opposed to just the two whole buster sets but honestly my favorite set definitely the sanctum although oh man i really love the fact that we're getting the black suit spider-man and bro thor's house as well is so cool just everything i've seen today i'm loving it again make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below because i'd love to hear from you that's all i got though and yeah really just tell me what you think i'm i cannot gush about these enough thank you guys so much for watching I'll catch you all in the very next video and have a fantastic and safe rest of your day